Some good news. Some of that heavier rain is starting to weaken in Lancaster and especially across York County, getting uh, some pretty heavy rains in and around Hanover right now. But here's the area we're really starting to watch. Northern Dauphin County. This has been I've been talking about that back building starting to build back into parts of Perry County and also back down into parts of Cumberland and Franklin counties. The National Weather Service watching this area could be a flood advisory soon uh, up around Liverpool, parts of Dauphin and parts of uh, Perry counties. Then it's, you can see how that area continues to build back toward the west. Let me take you even farther west. Look at this area just in the last half hour has really developed uh, from between Chambersburg and South Mountain heading up 81 and just to the east of there into parts of southern Cumberland County and northern Adams County. There's a flood advisory uh, for the Biglerville area. You can see looking north toward the Dauphin Narrows from our Harrisburg sky cam the real dark skies and the heavy rain that's up there. Right now Harrisburg's at 76. Dew point has actually come back down down in the mid 60s had been up near 70 earlier, thus the heavy rain. So again, there are going to be those stray storms around. You get underneath the one, it's going to rain pretty hard for a while. Uh, and it's warm and humid. Otherwise, temperatures in the 80s and 70s, partly cloudy overnight tonight. I think everything's over, by the way, by eh, 7, 8 o'clock, at least the heavier stuff. We'll keep an eye on it, though, near 70 degrees for overnight tonight. Tomorrow, partly sunny, more humid, but again, some isolated afternoon thunderstorms could pop up. We'll be in the 80s to near 90 degrees. Weather in your health, no real problems for tomorrow. UV index will be on the high side. What is happening is we have a cold front off to the west of us, but everything's formed well out ahead of it. There's the front. It's not if you're going to get through here. It's just going to kind of fall apart over northern Pennsylvania. But we've got two flows coming out of the south and kind of converging right in uh, parts of the Susquehanna Valley. And that's where these storms have been uh, focused in that what we call convergent flow. You see it's really cooled down under some of the storms to the 60s while other spots are still near 90 like Chambersburg. Predictor shows these storms through about 7, 8 o'clock. Then they really start to weaken as soon as the sun goes down. Then it'll just be muggy overnight tonight, a little bit of patchy fog. Same story tomorrow, though, although I think there'll be less in the way of storms. There's less impetus for it, but still we're going to get into the upper 80s to maybe even near 90 degrees. You get underneath a storm again tomorrow, there could be some heavy downpours. Even less likely on Wednesday and Thursday, but we can't rule them out. Typical summertime weather for this time of the year. We get near 90, and then, yeah, you get those kind of storms popping up, hit and miss. As we go into the next couple of days, a better chance of some storms on Friday, we may lower the humidity a bit for the weekend, but that doesn't mean we can't see a few showers or a few storms around. We'll continue to keep an eye on these storms as we go through the next couple of hours. Ronnie Kim. All right, thank you, Joe, and we'll be right back.